What's up, Eagles fans? Welcome into the Film Room presented by Wawa. I'm Fran Duffy, and today we're going to take a look at new Eagles wide receiver Zach Paschal, who the team signed from the Indianapolis Colts here this offseason. And Zach Paschal is a player that I've studied really going back to his days at Old Dominion. And one of the things that has always stood out to me about him, he is ultra reliable and he's really fun to watch because he is very technically sound a very refined player and again this goes back to his days in college and one area where you're always going to see that refinement show up in the red zone where everything is compressed everything's a little bit tighter so every edge you can get as a wide receiver you're going to take and that's exactly what we see here from Zach Pascoe who's lined up as the X receiver here and he's going to work on this little in breaking route in the red zone and just watch the subtleties at the top of this route it turns into press coverage late in the pre-snap phase and just watch how he holds this vertical stem really well he wins inside and he's going to press vertically if he bends this inside too much and he leans inside well now this corner has the ability to undercut it and maybe get an interception but watch Pascal he's going to hold this really really hard vertically right towards the top of the field and then he's going to have a real sharp cut towards the post and you see him create the separation we'll actually see a great example of it from the end zone angle because you can really see how he holds this vertically both feet in bounds again watch Pascal here left side of the screen after the motion that corner is going to come up and press him at the line of scrimmage and just watch how well he holds this vertically because now the corner doesn't know if he's going to break inside, if he's going to break outside, if he's going to take this up the field, you don't know. He could be stopping here on a little hitch route as well. So because he holds this vertically so well, watch the separation. Bam, he throws that little stick right at the top of the route. You can see the separation that creates from this corner right at that intermediate area of the route. He breaks open for the touchdown in the back of the end zone. That's just a really good example of what Zach Pascal brings to the table. Now, another part of playing receiver you got to be able to make tough catches, and especially if you play in the slot. And that's where the Colts have used Pascal a lot over the last couple of years because he's able to do a lot of the dirty work. Here you see him lined up in the slot, once again in the red zone. He has been a touchdown maker for the Colts over the last couple of years as well. And you're going to see him here run another in-breaking route. This one's a little double move, a little stick nod here from Zach Pascal, where he's going to work upfield, he's going to sell the stick route, then he's going to break up towards the post. Again, a little stick nod. You see this a lot from tight ends here in this area of the field. But watch the adjustment here from Zach Paschal. As he's going to adjust to this throw, thrown behind him in the red zone, he's going to take contact from the safety at the catch point. He's able to hold on to this football, comes down with the touchdown against the Seattle Seahawks. Again, we'll take a look at this from the end zone angle where you want to be able to see those receivers handle contact at the catch point, especially in the red zone. And that's exactly what Paschal does here on this play. Now, I've talked about some of the little things that Zach Pascal does well. His route running has always been a strong point of his game. You're going to see that here. Once again, working as the number three receiver, you're going to see his ability to get the corner turned. And he does an, an outstanding job of working blind spots on vertical routes, of getting defenders turned one way and breaking the opposite. And watch the, the job he does here against this defensive back where he's going to win inside break towards the corner, get that corner to face that direction before breaking back towards the post. And we'll just break this route down. Again, he wins inside. He's going to really try and stack this corner, get on top. Look at how he sells this route with his eyes. He starts to look back towards the quarterback before breaking back towards the post. Look at all the separation there. He gets the safety in the post turned around. That turns into an X play inside the 10-yard line. Outstanding route there from Zach Paschal. And again, you see another one. This time matched up against a Pro Bowl corner in Marlon Humphrey. Once again, in the slot. So you're starting to get a sense of his usage here, Zach Paschal, and how the Indianapolis Colts like to work him. I think when you watch him here, it's not just the route running, but watch what he does against a very physical press corner in Marlon Humphrey, his ability to fight through contact mid-route. Does a great job of creating separation here against man coverage. It's two man on third down. Pascal comes up with the reception. Again, just a really reliable player, technically sound. He plays through contact. He's good at the catch point. A lot of the things you're looking for from the receiver position, that's what Zach Pascal brings to the table. A lot of the small points of playing that position really show up with him on tape. And one area that I would be remiss if I didn't bring up his blocking, because that's another thing that has always stood out to me about Zach Paschal. He really gives great effort in the run game. With the way the Eagles have liked to run the football, he will be an asset in that area of the game. You're going to see Paschal worked up here at the top of the screen in the slot. 
This is a linebacker, an overhang linebacker on an outside run, and you're going to see the effort that Pascal gives here on the perimeter to help spring this for a big game. That starts with Pascal at the point of attack. Play side. They are willing to run behind him again and again and again and again. We're going to see it multiple times here. Here he is, Pascal again. This time, he's just outside on the bunch. He's going to work on the safety. This is a critical block on this pin pool play. He has got to pin this safety down towards the formation. They're going to try and get the running back out the back door. And again, this is Pascal. He's willing to take on this assignment. He's willing to seal off this safety, help create that alley. You've got the athletic offensive lineman out there. And if you're an Eagles fan, you've seen Jason Kelsey. You've seen Lane Johnson. You've seen these athletic offensive linemen, Jordan Mailata, out in space. Well, those blocks happen because the receivers at the first level of the play are able to help create that seal. Outstanding job there from Zach Pascal. We'll see one more play. And again, this is just something because it shows up time and time again with Pascal on film. Watch him again. Pin down this safety. He's able to create that seal. There goes Jonathan Taylor out the back door. So again, a lot of those X plays in the run game that we all get excited about. A really nice job there by everybody involved in the Colts offense, but Pascal, he's one of the key figures there in creating that X play in the run game. Zach Pascal, he's going to be doing a lot of the dirty work, but also show up in the red zone. A lot of refinement. There's a reason why coaches love coaching Zach Pascal.